Ready to get started? You will need a heavy or challenging dumbbell or you can use a water jug. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna begin with a one arm row. So we're gonna take our feet into a split stance, left foot in front, right foot in back, and then we're gonna pull our elbow right up and in towards our side. Now I am horrible at counting and talking. So we're gonna do four more, because I think that's right. Last two. All right, now with that same arm, I'm gonna pop that right heel up. I'm gonna sit my hips back into a single leg squat. Chest up, and imagine that you're sitting down in a chair. All right, we're gonna do three more. Okay, last one right here. All right, then I'm gonna take my feet about shoulder distance apart, bring that weight up, and do a one arm press. And yes, my arm's gonna disappear out of that top view. Abs are pulled in tight. Three more. One more time. All right, cool. Now I'm just gonna flip it right on over to the other side. Split stance, hinge at my hips, elbow pulls right in towards my side. So on this move, the one arm row, we're working the large muscle groups of our back. And because I'm working against gravity using a dumbbell, I need to line up that muscle against the line of resistance. What? Let's do one more. That was maybe 10-ish. Okay. I'm gonna pop that left heel up and do my single leg squat on my right leg, sitting my hips back. So I'm trying to get to work to go into my glute. The more I sit my butt back, the more the glute's gonna work and the less my quadricep will do. I think four more. Last two. Okay, good. Now back into that shoulder press on the left arm. All right, I'm gonna bring it up and press. So we were talking about that line of resistance. So the line of resistance basically comes from the ceiling or sky down, because it's pulling with gravity. So right now I'm pushing that weight straight up against gravity. Two more. One more time. Okay, cool. That was round one, let's go into round two. I'm gonna go back to my right arm working split stance, and row. So again, the line of resistance is the same direction from the sky down. The muscle I'm working though is this muscle back here. So I have to line that muscle up with that line of resistance. So if we're doing a one arm row with a dumbbell, ideally I wanna try and get my torso as parallel to the ground as I can. Let's get two more there. Okay, and I'm gonna pop that right heel up, chest up, sit back and stand up. All right, try and keep my back straight, my chest up. And again, I'm trying to get that work to go into my left glute. The more I push into my heel and I feel as if I'm grabbing a towel with my toes, the better. Last two. Okay, I'm gonna stand with my feet a little bit apart. I'm gonna bring that weight up and a one-arm press. So I guess you can see, I'm working out in the kitchen family room today. Dishwasher is going, so we got a little ambient noise. Awesome. Four more. We're kind of making it work these days, huh? Last two. One more time. Ugh. Okay, switching sides. Here we go. Nice big split stance. Hinging from my hips and pull it up. So the lower I get my chest, the more I'm lining up the muscle I'm working against that gravitational pull. That is good. Five more. Keep sliding that shoulder down your back. Three. We're gonna get 
two more. And one. Step that foot in. Pop that left heel up. Right leg is working. So this is a real simple fit break. We've got three moves and we're doing three rounds of these three moves on each side. And the idea is that we're just getting our heart rates up for a little bit, getting a couple steps in, building up some strength. One more here. Okay, into that shoulder press. Let's bring it up and press up. Now, I'm trying to exhale as I push. Draw my abdominals in. doing one pull exercise, one push exercise, and then one lower body exercise. Last one. Okay, slide that foot in, pop that right heel up, and sit your hips back, stand on up. So we're doing an upper body pull, an upper body push, and then a lower body exercise. When we do lower body, we should do a front and a back We'll save the back one for tomorrow. Let's get four more here. Last two. Cool, one more time. All right, we're gonna step the feet out, bring it up, one arm press. Abs full and tight. And I'm trying to keep my torso nice and still, so I'm not letting myself bend over. I'm going straight up with my arm. Now, to be honest, two more, uh, one more, yay, I think that was 10. Switch the other side. For my rows, I really should be doing a heavier weight. But for the press, this is about right. So if I was really kind of being like, I don't know, super perfect fitnessy person, I would do a heavier weight on my rows because my back is stronger and can pull more weight. One more. All right, step that back leg in. Pop that heel up, chest up, shoulders down. Sit your hips back, stand on up. So I can pull more weight than I can push up. So I should have grabbed two different dumbbells, but I'm like, you know what? This is pretty good. Five more kind of depends on your goals. If you're looking to just get your blood flowing and keep your strength up, it's okay if you're doing a little lighter weight than what you're capable of. Also, if you're just getting back into fitness, let's do our press, push it up. If you're just getting back into working out and you've taken a little break, totally cool. Do what works. You wanna give your body a chance to Get back into the swing of things. You do have muscle memory. Muscle memory is a total, actual, real thing. But you want to give your body a chance to adjust. All right, cool. Okay, that was awesome. But you know what? We kind of have maybe a minute left. So let's get just a tiny bit of ab work in. I'm going to use the ottoman. And I'm going to have a seat on my ottoman. You can have a seat on the ground, wherever works. Lift up nice and tall. Scoop that low belly. Tuck your tail. And let's do our alternating leg lift. And we'll count right, left as one rep. Oh. So we're just going to get a little bonus round of abs. So I'm drawing my belly button in and doing that little exhale to lift my leg up. Eight, last two. One more time. Oh, that was super cool. 
You got time for one more? If you don't, I totally get it. I've already told you you only had to do 10 minutes, it's 10 minutes. But if you're comfy, you feel okay, I want you to slide your butt off and you're gonna do a reverse bridge down and up. Ooh, that gave me a really good idea. We should do the Ottoman workout. Not the Ottoman Empire workout, that would be a little challenging. I think we'd have to ride horses with spears. This is the Ottoman in your living room workout. The only tough part about this exercise is getting out of it. Let's get two more. Oh, good work, right in the back of the legs. Whew. Okay, so here's the easiest. Let your butt just drop down to the ground. Now you gotta get up. That's the tough part. All right, my friends, we did it. That was pretty much perfect. A little 10 minute strength workout, a little pull, a little push, a little legs. 10 minutes, a couple times a day. You're golden. All right, it was great to see you. I will see you next time. Have a great rest of your day.